Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and the cheapest coins anywhere, make sure you guys check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing, what, what, wobbing, what, what, wobbing. When I come around, got the whole thing wobbing, what, what. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the new legends in the game but also I do want to talk about the house rules glitch that is currently going on and some of you guys may be like Zerk why would you put this info out there? It's going to cause the gameplay to be pretty bad. Well it's already been pretty bad. I've actually already known about this information since like 4 p.m. I want to say yesterday and I didn't say anything about it until late night because I wanted to give EA a chance to fix the issue because obviously by that time they probably knew about it right but as the time recording this video which is 10 a.m. right and by the time this video is going live it should still probably be working here it's not fixed yet so obviously it doesn't seem to be a big enough issue to EA to go ahead and fix it because I think I know the simple fix to it given I'm not you know a programmer I don't know how quickly they could do it but I know the step that would need to be taken to literally get rid of this glitch so unfortunately the only way to actually get stuff like this fixed is to have a mass majority of people doing it or just a large amount of people doing it that's just kind of how EA is if it's not affecting a lot of people they don't care so the best way to get rid of it is to tell you guys now i do want to give a shout out to colin quintero for being a part of the noti gang if you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video drop a like in the vid make sure you guys are subbed to the channel turn notification bell on and comment down below noti gang but with that being said i'm going to show you guys the house rules glitch now a lot of people have been doing this as i said you guys have probably already seen it if you've been playing house rules you probably already know about this i didn't say anything about it until late last night uh, i tweeted out to try to get the info out there more to hopefully get it fixed and as of right now it is still not fixed so I don't know i'm gonna just show you guys how to do it if you want to do it you can i know some people are like oh i don't want to do it because you know you might get like banned for doing it there have been many many house rules glitches before very similar to this where things are being allowed in house rules that shouldn't be i've never heard of any single glitches or anything given this year the hashtag keep it fair whatever maybe ea goes through and removes wins from people doing this i don't really see how you could necessarily get banned for doing this but if you don't want to do it then just don't do it but i'm going to show you as long as i put this out there hopefully this will help get it done so for my knowledge it's actually only on next gen madden now all you guys want to do is come into literally any solo challenge where you guys are actually on offense so just go to like campaign week one week two whatever it doesn't matter and once you guys get into the solo challenge here like i said again this is actually only happening on next gen because on next gen there is something called favorites you guys can see right here in this play right look at x double tap x it is now in my favorites i come over favorites and there it is now if you guys go to formation though you go to special teams go to field goal and you just double tap a you can put that into your favorites then go over to punt double tap a that as well will be in your favorites now i don't know if you actually have to complete the challenge or if you can just back out or whatever but i'm just gonna do the challenge real quick all right so i just got done with the solo challenge now i'm gonna head on over to house rules and if you guys know this with house rules it's tug of war so it's all about positioning on the field and you're supposed to be able to win the game with just going ahead and scoring a touchdown right but here's the thing field goals are not supposed to allow you to win the game and you're also not even supposed to be able to go ahead and select a special teams play well you are because like i just showed you you put it in your favorites and it's going to be right in here so once we get into the game i will show you guys if i start off on offense i will have the capability to go ahead and of course i start off on defense here but if when i get back on offense i'll show you guys i can go ahead and just go to favorites and punt the football we'll see if my opponent actually does it here because i know like a lot of people are doing it so we'll see if he punts here all right so my opponent is not punting and as long as he doesn't score a td i really do not care uh, what actually happens on this play as that's gonna be incomplete all right so i'm starting off now at the 50 yard line because he didn't move the ball well you guys can see i come over to favorites and i can punt the ball now this is counting as progressing the ball down the field and then let's say he doesn't end up getting anything right let's say he throws an incomplete pass or whatever or he punts the ball and then i return the ball well, I'm going to go ahead and just do a like high kick, whatever, over here to the right side. So that way I can just progress it. Hopefully not get it all the way to the 20. Try to get inside like the 10-yard line, whatever. And you guys can see that punt right there, right, is about the 17-yard line. 
Well, now he's going to start at the 16-yard line. So punting the ball is counting as progressing it. And let's say he comes out here, right? And he's actually running a real play. Let's say he you know throws an incomplete pass or for some reason uh the pass that he throws it just puts me in field goal range i can then just come out and kick a field goal and you win the game now i'm not going to do that i'm actually going to quit right after this because i don't want to go ahead and do it but i just wanted to show you guys this i, I don't want to get the wins like that but you can see i'm at the 20 yard line here if i go over to favorites i take the field goal i win yeah so that is a big issue take out favorites that's all you got to do remove favorite plays from house rules and this issue is fixed ea now please fix it so that is the house rules glitch and unfortunately guys with the way the ea is sometimes things have to get worse to get better kind of how they are but here are the legends today we have curtis morgan and we have roy williams honestly i might end up picking up roy williams number one because he's a cowboy but also number two because i do like the card a lot now i do have to see what curtis martin's like juke and spin look like because you compare him to uh priest holmes looks a lot like him hopefully that curtis martin does actually look like pretty good in comparison to priest holmes because as of right now they kind of just look like very very similar cards but let's go ahead and get into this legends fantasy bundle you guys know i like to do these bundles every single saturday morning for you guys and hopefully we can have some good pack luck again as we start with 82 d wear in round number one last week this bundle was super good like this bundle was super super good so hopefully again this week it can be really good again uh we get a low legend 86 b marsh though it's actually kind of solid for low legend i'll take that i did also see some people talking about how we got this ea play pack which yes we do have this ea play pack so if you guys do have ea access or ea play uh then you should also get this pack right here it's ea play reward pack and i get a 73 and a 70 overall very very nice right there uh hopefully these packs can be pretty glitchy though uh, i do know that you know this week with legends curtis martin and roy williams they're not bad they're not bad at all but uh, people kind of expected to see more of a super kind of juiced up uh legends week and i feel like they're just saving it because we have you know team diamonds coming out this upcoming week so hopefully team diamonds are just really really glitchy as an 86 overall roy williams okay so that's gonna help me get the set done I'll take that. Not a, you know, not a big pull, but hey, I'll, I'll definitely take 86 overall Roy Williams. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how expensive the sets are going to be necessarily for him. As you get a John Johnson in round number one. And we do not get another elite, unfortunately. Round number two. Legend. Low one, though. 84. Okay. 82. Low legend again. 85. We've got five legend fantasy packs remaining here. Can we get maybe one or two actual uh, big pulls? That would be awesome. I'm going to go with the 78, 79. I almost don't want to take that Pernell McPhee because I don't think he goes for much. Round number two, we do get an 82 overall, 81. Big legend, big legend, 89 Curtis Martin. Okay, okay, that is going to help a lot. We just pulled the highest set piece for Curtis Martin not the full legend but that's a lot of coins that's I mean I don't know how expensive he's gonna be but I'd imagine that's at least a 200,000 coin pull uh if not more if not more 87 TJ Watt in round number one okay packs are really heating up here 84 82 low legend 85 Ed Reed so we got 89 overall Curtis Martin and in the very next pack we get 87 overall TJ Watt that was a really, really good back-to-back -back packs. Can we follow it up now with like a limited? Can we Can we get an LTD, please? That'd be awesome. Nope, no LTD here. Uh, we'll go with Gibson and the high golds there. Round number two, 83, 82, and it's a low one, 82. Uh, I guess we'll go Frank Clark. So down to the final two regular packs. Then we have the two toppers. Getting that Curtis Martin pull and then the TJ Watt. Those two pulls alone kind of make this bundle like pretty solid as getting 84 overall straight. What is this round one? What is this round one? What is this? Two elites, three elites actually, and we got two power ups. We got Humphrey and we got Russ. I'm going to go with uh, Russell Wilson there. Round number two, low legend, 85, coin quick sell. Okay, 82 and low legend, 86 Roy Williams again. 
I, that pack had potential to be like the craziest legend fantasy pack ever look at that three elites a power up and then 86 overall roy williams if we got like a full legend or a limited round two that would have been one of the craziest legend fantasy packs i've ever done but final actual pack here we get 83 overall aaron jones 82 aj brown okay we get no more elites there but we got two uh two pretty solid golds round two 82 low legend 85 roy williams and 82 lt so again another roy williams piece i would definitely take that we have the two toppers remaining can we get an ltd or a full legend oh we might have done it we might have done it we might have done it 88 brandon marshall okay i'm not mad i gotta go clear my minor though yeah i seriously cannot wait for team diamonds to come out you guys just saw that my minor is literally packed full uh I, I need i need team diamonds to come out can we get that limited right here 87 bruce matthews okay so i'm not mad honestly because uh the curtis martin piece alone is really really good so to be honest we had a pretty solid bundle. we didn't have the craziest bundle ever but again back-to-back -back weeks of these bundles being pretty good uh that curtis martin pole 89 overall obviously the sets just came out he's literally not even up right now and then we did get you know 286 overall roy williams uh, we also get 85 Roy Williams. It was pretty good. Definitely a pretty solid bundle. No limiteds, no full legends, but it is what it is. We'll see if these limiteds are up. And looks like Roy Williams is for a million coins. So obviously the LTD is just, you know, the base card powered up. Yeah, 90 speed, 93 excel, 91 zone, 92 hit power, 89 tackling, 88 play rank, 90 awareness, or 90 pursuit, actually. Uh, he does have 88 awareness, 6 feet tall. I wish it was Pat Watkins, 6 foot 5. 88 change of direction, though, and 89 block shed wow so block shed is crazy on this roy williams so that i know he's a zone safety but he's gonna be crazy versus the run uh and then we also have curtis martin up for 800k instantly like i said I, he just reminds me a ton of priest holmes 205 pounds so very very light he's got 92 break tackle but at 205 how many tackles is he really gonna break 82 trucking he's got 90 change of direction 91 speed 93 excel 91 carrying his juke and spin 88 spin 91 juke and 86 stiff arm i'm gonna be honest it's it's a good card it really is got 76 short route running as well but if you compare curtis martin to priest holmes it, there's not much of a difference at all you have like slightly more trucking carrying and brake tackle on curtis martin which is a little bit more juke and spin as well i believe and he's less weight so to me yeah I, I don't know. I, I just don't feel like it was a big enough upgrade over uh, a running back we just got a couple days ago. But Roy Williams looks really, really good. Uh, not, maybe, you know, may not as fast or as good as, say, Sean Taylor because Sean Taylor is a little bit quicker. Roy Williams, though, does have better zone coverage. I can actually compare those two right here. You can see speed plus two to Sean Taylor, excel plus one, tackling plus three, play rec plus two. But then the man, the zone, the hit power is the same one Roy Williams. And I believe he actually has higher block shed. So... I don't know. You pick up both these guys, they'll be pretty good. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video though. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. I'll see you guys next time.